Hey guys, it's Chaos Legend. I uh, just want to talk about some preview cars that we've seen so far. Um, on uh, mtgsalvation.com, they have six cards that we know that are going to be in World Wake. Um, one is a new version of Jace, which a lot of people have seen. Uh, Smother, um, which has always been a tournament staple black removal spill, so it's a reprint. Uh, Comet Storm, Jiraga Warcaller, Leatherback Bailoth, and Celestial Colonnade. So let's talk about each one. Okay, so first we've got Jace. Oh, they're not going to let me go straight to it. Uh, here we go. Alright, so here we go with Jace. Big full screen image. Um, this is pretty interesting. Uh, it's a Planeswalker that has a zero ability on it, right? Uh, two colorless and two blue for a three uh, loyalty planeswalker, Jace the Mind Sculptor. It's another copy of Jace, so this Jace kills old Jaces, right? So for plus two, you can look at the top card of any player's library and put it on the top or bottom of the library. So he can make himself bigger pretty fast. For zero, you can draw three cards and then put uh, two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order, so you can brainstorm for free every turn. And then for minus one, you can return target creature to its owner's hand. So that's pretty good, right? Um, you know, it's a uh, uh, no mana bounce spell. So, I mean, even if you just drop this guy for four and for three turns in a row bounce something, I mean, that wouldn't necessarily be horrible. Although you're going to pump him up eventually, right? So, uh, and then minus twelve, you know, which you'll probably never get to exile all their cards from their library and then they're hand becomes their library. So basically you win the game as long as they don't have a board presence that kills you. So it's minus twelve, I mean for minus twelve it should just say you win the game. <laughs> it should just be exile their library instead of the second part being there. So you can actually win the turn after. Um <coughs> how good do I think he is? Uh I think he's pretty darn good. Um uh, is he as good as the Jace we have now, the three casting cost one? Well, as a card draw spell, he's four mana, and he's pretty slow, right? Because the first turn you're going to want to use the plus two. Um, so, I mean, he's the kind of card that may not be good unless you're um, running, like, a pretty strong control deck, a, you know, like a total control deck. He's not something that you can just throw into any kind of tempo deck. He's not something you can throw into any kind of aggro deck. He's the kind of card you have to play in a like a very mid-range uh, slash control deck. So I think he's a really good card for that deck, but um, better than the um, the Jace we have now, because you never have to give them any cards. And I think otherwise he's worth it. Um, but um, but uh, will he find a home? You know, it's, it's hard to tell. Um, uh, probably. I mean, I'm sure he'll get some play as people play with him. Um, I'm guessing he's going to be like a maybe $12 Planeswalker for, you know, the indefinite future. Something around there. Okay, so that's Jace. Um, oh, what do I think about this kind of card being at Mythic? Kind of annoying. Uh, if he winds up being a 20, another $20 Planeswalker, that could be just really annoying. But blue's not been a very popular color, so hopefully he won't be that high. Okay, so we've got Smother, the reprint. Uh, we don't have any art for it. So, this is the old Smother. Like that, we'll get the same picture. Um, two mana, destroy target creature with converted mana cost three or less. Can't be regenerated. It, it trades up, right? Because you can kill three casting costs. It's instant, and it doesn't worry about color or anything like that. So. And it goes right along with their... Oh, it can't be regenerated, so... We had seen a lot of removal allowing regenerations. This one's... Pretty good to get rid of all those guys. So, he's fine. If you want to run a mono, bl mono black deck, um, you need effects like that. So that's probably one reason why they're putting it in the format, is because they want to make mono decks playable. Okay. Um, next one we have is just been spoiled. It's called Comet Storm. And I believe we have an image. This is a card with multi-kicker. 
which is fine, I guess. It uh, looks like it's going to be another Mythic Rare. Uh, it's double, double red and X, instant. Multi-kicker for one. So it's, it's a fireball, basically, right? So it's X damage to target creature or player. And then for one mana uh, additional, you can make it do the same amount of damage to another target. So let's say you want three targets. You pay double red and three, and then you pay two mana, right? So that's seven mana to do two damage to three targets. Yeah, It's uh, instant. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, ro it's basically a more expensive Rolling Thunder with the benefit of being instant if you have anything more than one target. Um, so nothing, nothing too spectacular, but it's fine. It's a, it'll. I, I'm glad that it's mythic because, uh, for one thing, this card should not see that much play. In the decks that run it, you're going to run like two, right? Because you're not going to want to run like four of these. Uh, just be silly. Um, unless somehow it's like the whole purpose of your deck, which I just don't see. Right? You're going to want bomb permanents to stay in play, not just spells like this. Um, and in limited, you're not going to see it as often because it's mythic. And fireball effects, blaze effects, especially splittable ones, have just been notorious for um, being skill spoilers in um, in limited. So if your opponent plays it, they win, you know, even though their deck is really bad and they're playing a pretty bad game, you know, it's like, oh, come on. Or, you know, your your deck is definitely better that day than the guy you're playing, even though you're equal players, you know. You, you know, you built a better deck, you know, you're having a better day, you're performing at a higher skill level on that given day, but he beats you because Comet Storm just totally takes him over the top. So, so yeah, I think this is pretty successful. Uh, the artwork looks pretty crappy. Um, I don't know. I don't think I like it. Uh, although, I guess it's not just the big fireball in the middle of the picture. It's a little more creative, I guess. Some... some of the, well, I would like to see more people or something. I'd, I'd have to see it closer up, I guess. Uh, this picture's faded. So, there's another...